hello everyone welcome to sun coding again and in this video lecture we'll do some python basic python practice so without a further ado let's get our hands dirty okay i open my id first that is pycharm we are using for this uh, tutorial okay i'm going to create a new python file new python file okay i'm just uh, i will just name it as like practice okay it's created now we are going to uh, print the hello world message uh, in python so we'll just check out the basic syntax of python i guess most of you have already uh, known the other programming language right uh, like c plus plus or c or uh, java or anything i don't know if you even don't know if you even don't know any programming language that's not a big deal so we are learning from scratch so i'll show you the basic syntax of python like how to print the hello world first let's get started so in other programming languages are like uh, if you are from c or c plus plus background and you know you need to write a bunch of a bunch of libraries first you have to uh, write a bunch of codes first to uh, run your code to execute your code but uh, the python is very handy and very simple very short so you don't need to do anything you just uh, you start with your original code from the first line like if i want to print hello world program i guess every uh, every programmer um, starts their programming journey with the hello world code hello world message right so let's print we just need to do anything we just like print here and we put a quotation marks inside this bracket for the first braces so in the quotation marks whatever you write the message it's gonna print out so if you write like hello world hello world so i'm going to execute it over here Run. As you can see it's saying hello world so whatever you write in this uh, inside this quotation marks uh, it is going to uh, be displayed so this is very simple like writing quotes in python is very simple it takes only one on two two lines of code to uh, one line of code to write uh, to get a hello world message if you compare with the other program languages like if c++ you need to I like you have to input uh, standard input output you have to uh, do some other bunch of codes you have to um, write some five to six lines of code to get a hello world message where it's uh, we are getting in one line in python so python is very handy and very useful so now what are you i'm going to do i am going to like uh, welcome to some coding okay i'm going to print it now okay as you can see it's saying welcome to something so whatever you write in this quotation inside this quotation marks it is going to be printed out and now if i want another message like here uh hello world then I like to like welcome to sun coding then i'll paint uh let's learn programming programming okay let's print it out okay as you can see it's getting printed in one line so if i want to print this sentence in a different line then i have to use another print uh to write to get this as a second line right so but you don't need to do that actually you can simply do that like there's a break function there is a break syntax sorry not function okay and this one over here and i'm going to print okay as you can see i'm getting the second sentence in a 
a different line like so you can use this syntax to get to create different lines in in uh, in your messages like as you can see over here and if we want more uh, different uh, ways to do that like we can do something like that we can just remove this one we can put two more quotation marks over here and two here and now I'm going to just uh, write I'm going to write this in a different line and then um, okay, Python from Python from scratch okay let's paint out okay as you can see over here it's uh, it's out giving output in different lines you can okay now we have printed our very first message in using python we can also break the lines we can create different lines we can also create multiple lines just uh, using some simple syntax now what we can do can we add two numbers in using python so how do we do that so as you can as you know that if in c plus plus or in c you have to uh, use different variables then you have to add those numbers but in python it's very useful very handy you can just simply add two numbers like you can add five plus six and you can print this message okay let's print it okay one thing you need to notice here that we are not using the quotation marks over here to print these numbers because if we use the quotation marks what is it is going to happen okay let's uh, get the quotation marks and print it out it is not going to add the number the, if we put quotation over here the python will think that we are uh, giving string inside this quotation um, quotation uh, symbol so whatever you uh, get whatever you write inside this quotation mark it is going to be considered as uh, the string number a string type that type so we are not giving going when we are uh, dealing with numbers integers uh, float type values we will not um, provide the quotation marks so now I'm going to execute this code so as you can see the addition has been done successfully it's saying 11 so 5 plus 6 it's 11 right so it's very simple also we can do th some other things like uh, we can uh, we can store these numbers as variables like we can get two variables like a give it as 5 b and we give over here as 6 and now we print a and b we're going to print a plus b sorry we're going to print a and b and it's also saying 11 and we can store the result in a different variable like result or add uh, result here yeah. result I'm getting too much typo today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, let's A plus B and I'm just simply going to print the result. And it should give us the same output. Yeah, it's saying 11. So it's giving us the same output. So, so far we have uh, done some basic Python programming we have uh, printed out hello world message we have uh, printed messages in different lines we have added two numbers we have used variables to add our numbers now what are you going to do actually we are going to okay let's comment out this part first okay in programming you should know how to uh, make comment in your programming language in your uh, when you're writing code so I'm just going to 
give this quotation marks three times and over here three times so this part will be considered as comment part uh, this is not going to the id will not uh, encounter this part it will not consider this part just simply it will be considered as a comment okay now i am going to do what uh, it's time to take user input so let's see how we can get the user input uh, in python so to get the user input we can use uh, something like input okay input and inside this input function we can uh, like write, write like uh, enter a number enter a number number okay and it will be it will take the user input this uh, this this uh, this code so I'm going to execute it and okay, okay it's saying enter a number good just 15 and it's nothing happening here that means the program we have written it has taken our input but there is no we have not right we have not wrote any we have not written any output uh, code that's why it's not giving us any output so let's let's store this number first okay we will store this number in a and now i'm going to print a so let's try to understand this code okay what is going on actually over here we are taking a user input using this input function and the whenever the user uh, gives the input it will it will be stored in a variable and uh, finally we print the variable a that is the user input whatever the user will uh, give it will be printed by the second line so let's execute the code and it's saying in enter number and we're going to input 15 and we click enter and it's saying 15 over here so our code is working perfectly you can also keep it empty without anything just input and you can execute them it will not print any messages you can just simply give a number like 45 and it will print the number so this was the very basic python basic syntax of python how to how to um, print a message in python how to add two numbers how to store uh, numbers or anything in variables how to get the user input in python so this was it thank you very much we'll in the next video in the upcoming videos we'll uh, learn more python more uh, details about python so thank you everyone